Greetings and blessings whenever and wherever, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I wanted to share with you out of Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 14 that say, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like this, we certainly will be united with him in a resurrection like this. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. Glory be to God. Because of the death of Jesus Christ, because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are now dead to sin, and we are made alive by the blood of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit that lives in each and every one of us. What it is saying is that doesn't mean we have an excuse to keep on sinning. Just because we don't have to give atonement for our sins any longer doesn't mean that we are not still supposed to present ourselves to God as acceptable. No, as a matter of fact, we are supposed to use his life within us as the power to live holy and righteous lives. Again, it's not a free ticket just to keep on sinning. But because we are dead to sin, we are now alive. We are more alive than we ever have been. And because Christ no longer will die, we no longer will die. Because Christ was able to break the chains of death, we too are able to receive the strength to break those same chains. It's a gift that's given freely, and we should accept it with a thankful heart, willing and obedient as heirs and children and servants in God's kingdom. We have to put away those lustful desires. We can't give in to sin. We can't give in to what the flesh wants any longer. We're dead to that. It doesn't exist to us. All that should exist and all that we should see in front of us is Christ. Christ before us and Christ ahead of us. And we should model ourselves after the mind of Christ. After the life of Christ. He came. And he sat with sinners, but he didn't become like them. They became like him. And that should also be our goal because we are no longer slaves to sin. We are empowered by the Holy Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit living in each and every one of us because of the sacrifice of Christ. So we must live for God and no longer live for the flesh or for the sin that wastes away our mortal bodies every day. So guys, with that being said, of course, I would like to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as both a sinner and a servant, Lord. A servant that is thankful that your grace and your mercy, that your blessing of atonement is enough to cover my sins, Lord. And enough to grant me the free gift of salvation, Lord. And today, Lord, I pray that you would help each and every one of us to no longer 
be enslaved by sin, to no longer give in to the temptation of the flesh, Lord, but to live with a Christ-minded attitude and to model ourselves after Christ and to model ourselves after the image in which we are created, Lord, to model ourselves as holy and righteous people who have cast off the burden of sin and no longer succumb to its temptations, that no longer give in to its covetedness and its desires, that no longer allow the lust of the flesh to continue to cause us spiritual death, Lord. I pray that everyone out there, Lord, that hears your word, that they will gain knowledge, that they will gain strength, and that their faith will increase, Lord, and that they grow closer to you in their walk and farther and farther away from the deeds of sin. And Lord, I thank you again for the opportunity to say and to speak these things. And in your name, dear Lord Jesus, we give glory to God our Father in heaven as we say these things. And we pray in your name, dear Lord Jesus. Amen. We have to keep in mind every single day, guys, that sin's going to try to trick us and trap us. But it's dead to us. It's dead like a bad ex. It's dead like a mouse caught in a trap that we threw out in the trash can. We don't have to give in to sin anymore. And remembering salvation is not a free excuse to keep on sinning. We need to model ourselves and we need to be approved workers before God so that when he returns, we'll hear those words. Well done, servant. Well done. But of course, until next time, you guys, as always, whenever and wherever, God bless.